Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. And it is December 23rd. I live in, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ottawa, Canada. And we, like most of North America, are getting a huge storm right now. We already had a huge branch snap off our maple tree in the front yard, which is not good. So hopefully that'll be it for the broken branches and trees because we just finished, I say we, my husband just finished clearing up the fallen trees from the May storm just recently. So hopefully it's all good. Today I have a sweet little card for you to showcase some new products that are available starting January 5th in the new mini catalog. And it will also be celebration where you can earn free products with a minimum in Canada, $60 purchase. So that's the celebration products and there are some beautiful things and some gorgeous papers. And then the mini catalog full of more goodness. So hopefully um, you'll be able to order some things beginning January 5th. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order, which is one of the perks of being a demo that you can pre-order from the catalogs ahead of time. All right, so those are the catalogs. Just a reminder, Winter Stamp Camp is January 14th. We'll be making 14 cards, and there's different options that you can choose, and you can find more information at mariannecowan.com slash events. The deadline for the early bird pricing is December 31st. So the paper we're going to be using today is this beautiful vellum. I'm just going to grab something so you can see it a little better. So there's three different designs, polka dots, stripes, and this beautiful one that has leaves on it. And we're going to be using this one and this one today. It's just very pretty. So that will be available in the new catalog. We're also using the Dainty Delight stamp set, and I'll show you some of the different images that I used, as well as the Dainty Delight frames, or dies. Now, exciting news that Stampin' Up! has finally decided to name their dies and their stamp sets with the same name. It makes it a lot easier when you're trying to figure out which ones go together. So this, will, this bundle will be available in the new catalog. And we're also using the Petal Park Builder Punch, and it will also be available in the new catalog. So we're just making one card today, so this might be a quick video. But I'll show you kind of the thought process when I'm designing a card and when I'm deciding what elements to put together. So because this paper is so beautiful, I wanted to make sure that you could see it and it was really the fo kind of the focus of the card. So I went ahead and die cut using, uh, I can't remember the name of these frames, but they're in the annual catalog, scalloped, something scalloped frames. It's one of my favorite ones. And so you can still see the beautiful leaves in the vellum. And it definitely has a front and a back. And because I wanted to do a soft card, I chose soft seafoam. So we have a soft seafoam base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored, well, I don't score it, folded in half, but it is at four and a quarter. Then I took a piece four by five and a quarter, and I embossed it using the subtle embossing folder. Now I know it's retired, but I also know a lot of you have it. And it's one of my favorites, especially for a card like this where I want, I don't really want much just as the name suggests, something subtle. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that right on. So um, I wanted this card to be tone on tone, monochromatic, but I did, I'm, I'm not sure. So you guys can help me make some decisions. 
So then we're going to have our vellum piece, which I don't want to put on yet because once I do some of the other pieces, I'll have a better idea of um, where to put the adhesive, where it won't show. But I am thinking I'm going to want to use some of this uh, seam binding ribbon, crinkled seam binding ribbon, but I want to color it. So in order to do that, you just take Stampin' Blends, and I think I'll use dark. This one's dark, and I'll use the paintbrush side. The Stampin' Blends have a paintbrush side and then a marker side. So I'm going to use the paintbrush side, and it's as simple as just running it across. And the more times you do it, of course, the darker it will get. And I'm doing this now because I want it to dry a little bit before I decide. I'll probably make a bow, but not a hundred percent sure. When I do my Facebook Lives, I have an idea of what I want to do, but it often changes. Okay. So we'll just put this aside to dry and we'll use that later. So back to our card. I went ahead and stamped some of the images in the stamp set. They're really quite beautiful. Well, I can just show you here. So there's all different types of flowers, dainty flowers, I will say. So I did die cut or stamp these in black and then die cut them. There are dies for each of these four flowers in the stamp set. So I, I just thought I will try them and see what I like. So I did them in black, but to be honest, I think that's going to be too much of a contrast for the design I have in my mind. So these will wait for another day. Then I decided to do some in soft sea foam to see if I liked that better. So let's try it. It still pulls in a little bit of white and I'm not sure I want that, but I'm gonna try coloring these in to see if maybe that will be closer to what I want. And I think I'll use light. So I'm just, there's not much to color in these, so it's not gonna take long. So these are Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based markers. And I like them because they don't leave any lines. They literally blend. So let's just try this as well. So if you had two colors together, typically if you use just regular markers, there will be a line and you can see where each color ends. But with blends, they blend into each other. And then you can get variations in how dark you want your color as well. All right, I'm still not convinced I want these, but at least they're colored now. So we have this, this. My sentiment is Celebrate You, also from the same stamp set. Hey Cheryl, I love this bundle too. So this is my thinking as I'm designing. So I did go ahead and cut the really big, one of my favorite dies is this big swoopy one. And I did this one as well. So because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted, I did some in soft sea foam and some in vellum. I didn't do any in white because I really don't want to pick up the white. I want to pick up the soft sea foam. But just to show you what these can do, you can put two of them together and make an oval. That's actually very pretty. This card may completely change. Hmm, I like that. We might just go with that. That's not at all what I was thinking of doing. I'll show you what I was thinking of doing. If I had two cut out, we could do both, but I don't. What I was thinking of doing is putting my sentiment here and then building up some layers of different branches and tree and um, colors, and then maybe adding a couple of flowers. 
But now that I'm here designing, I want to go a totally different way. Okay, that's what happens. And if I knew I was going to be doing this, I sh probably should have used a adhesive sheet to make it easier. I don't know. I think if I was going to use this whole thing, I would have had to use a bigger back piece. So I'm going to go back to my original plan. But I will do another card another day and do that design. So I actually want to cut off some of these. I hope wherever you are, you're safe and the storm is not impacting you too much. So there we have a soft sea foam one. I'm going to do the same one, maybe a bit longer. That's what's fun about these is you can adjust them. So this one's a bit longer. Now, because this is vellum, I don't want vellum on vellum. So I do want the green one down first and I might have another maybe even quite long green one. I like to lay it down, see if I like it, move it around. So this is going to go here. And then we have these beautiful ones as well. I don't know what flower that is, I'll have to find out. And then I did do it in vellum as well. And I just, I don't think this works. I think it's bringing in too much white that I don't want. So that gets saved for another project. And then I was thinking I was going to add a flower or two, but that is way too big. I did take these vellum, this is the punch, punched it in vellum and added Wink of Stella, but uh, no, I'm not feeling it. I don't. I, want to, I feel like I just want to stick with leaves. Okay, so let's move all of this stuff out of the way. It does have the punch also, has a little leaf. Hi, Lise. Um, so you could use that as well, but I just, I think not on this card. But the flowers do look quite pretty when you use um, Wink of Stella on them. I'm sure I'm gonna be using this set a lot, so I'll just put that in my little bundle of stuff to use later and I think that's enough going on because then we're going to add our bow so let me just grab our ribbon it's pretty dry now it does take a few minutes to dry but not long because it's alcohol based so let's see I also was wondering if maybe linen thread would be good but because I'm getting doing so matchy matchy colors this might be perfect yeah, I like that. These are not my ribbon scissors, but they're new, so they're still nice and sharp. They do get dulled by the paper. Okay, so now to glue all this, we have to go backwards. So I'm going to pull off the back ones, the front ones, I mean. Just set them aside in the layer that I want. I might switch those two up. And then I'm going to use glue dots. And at the bottom, I'm not worried about it showing because we'll put the bow over top of that. But further up, I do not want it to show. I'm just gonna grab my pokey tool. Okay, when I came on the Facebook Live, it was pouring rain and now it's huge snowflakes. It's very pretty, but it's a bit of a mess. So now I'm going to take glue dots. I like to roll them so that it'll fit nicely where I want it. I think I'll put one more in this back one because it's pretty big. Yes, Cheryl, we're getting the deep freeze. Well, I don't think not as cold as you guys had. My son is in Vancouver and they're supposed to be going to Nanaimo and the, I guess the ferry sailings from this morning were cancelled. We do want to put this on. 
I think just flat. Um, no, maybe popped up, so I'm going to leave it. All right, what did we have next? Next we had the vellum. So I'm, if I do one in vellum, then I'll do the next one in soft sea foam. One of my favorite colors, soft sea foam. So again, I'm just rolling. I was listening to the Canadian weather meteorologist and he said that currently there are over 400 weather warnings in Canada. That's a lot. Yes, Vancouver's a mess in Vancouver Island. And Vancouver's just not prepared for the, this type of this much snow. In Ottawa, we're prepared for it. Doesn't make it more fun, but at least we're prepared. Okay, I'm going to do that one kind of off a lot. It's maybe one too many, but we'll just keep going. Now you can leave it like that so it pops up a little bit, but I think that's popping up a little bit too much. So I am going to put one right here. And if you put one on the top ones, it kind of holds down the bottom ones as well. And then one more. Oh, these. That doesn't sound fun. I think you're near Kingston, aren't you? Yeah, we're just getting that now, Lise. So, like I said, we've already had one a big branch down from a tree, our beautiful maple tree. Yeah. All right, I'm flipping it over, and I'm thinking because this paper is patterned, you're not going to see the glue quite as much as you probably normally would, but I am putting it where I have uh, leaves and also where I know my sentiment is going, which I think is right here. Luckily, we didn't have anyone traveling here for Christmas and we weren't going anywhere, so that's good because we wouldn't have got anywhere. Hopefully it'll be cleared up by Christmas Day. Thanks, Sylvia. It's coming together. So uh, originally I was gonna have this hanging over, but it, that's not gonna work because I wanna hide all this mess. And that's gonna be hidden by the bow. Has anyone else played with this vellum? You have to think about how you're going to use it and be strategic. All right. It's quicker than I thought because I'm not adding any of the flowers because I don't really think they suit. But I did bring down iridescent pearls and basic pearls. Originally, I brought them down because I was going to use them for the inside of my flowers. But I'm not putting flowers on, but I think... I do think a couple of pearls will be pretty. I don't want them too big because I don't want it to take away from the rest of the card. But maybe, um, what other size? You can see which ones I prefer to use. So the pearls come in three sizes. I'll use this one because I've used all the medium size on the other one. Just a little bit. And you could go and add a glue dot or a little bit of glue or something if you're worried about that being up, but I'm not worried about that, so three degrees. Okay. I think we're around zero, but that's Celsius. 
it was really warm though up until just it's just the temperature is just starting to dip right now it's winter okay so there's my card celebrate you featuring the beautiful new specialty vellum that's coming out in the new annual no the new mini catalog and also featuring the bundle called dainty delight and this punch which is actually from another suite, Petal Park Builder Punch. But I love that it has three sizes of flowers, and I think it's one that I'll be using quite a bit. Celebrate You. I like Celebrate You because you can use that sentiment for quite a few different celebrations. And it's good to have a card on hand that is fairly generic like this, so that you can use it in many different ways. All right, that's my card for today. Thank you for joining me. Um, and if you're, well, you probably are having a storm of some kind where you are, so stay safe. And I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Thanks, everyone.